Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. It has been a wild couple of weeks, so that's why I haven't seen you all in a while. So I was actually gone for work the last couple of weeks, and uh, it's hard to make a video on the farm when you're not even in the same state. So um, I've been gone, that's why I haven't been able to make a farm video for you all. But I am back, and I should be back for a while, so I um, should be back to seeing a video every week. Before we get into the farm stuff for today, I've showed you guys before that I purchased a sawmill. That's just gonna be a fun weekend project whenever I'm not super busy with everything else. But especially this winter and things cool off, I plan on doing quite a bit of milling if I can get the logs. And this here is a log that I just picked up that I'm super excited about. This one actually came from a tree service and this is a silver maple, which of course it's a soft wood, it's not a hard hard maple, but uh, this lumber will make some nice tabletops. Get you guys a length here. Just over two feet in diameter, and uh, my mill can hold up to 36, so. Um, this will really be the biggest log I've got so far. Actually, it's not. I have one oak that's about 34 inches, so. This is gonna make a nice tabletop. May try to do a book matched table or something. I don't know yet. But this one was completely free. Um, I got in with the tree service and uh, they happened to have this one that they were cutting down that day, so I went over, picked it up with the Dewey's bed on our truck for hay bales, and uh, that's how we got it loaded. Here's the other end. I'm hoping it's a little curly, but I'm not sure. It is a maple, so I'm hoping for a little bit of curl. Anyway, and then I also just picked up this top of it since I was already there. Um, I don't know, might be able to make a little end table out of it. There should be some crazy figure in there with all these limbs and this little beginning of a burl growing here. So anyway, got some more logs for free. If you guys want to see videos of me picking up free logs, because hopefully I'll be getting quite a few here in the next couple months whenever a lot of the tree services start getting really busy. So um, anyway, if you guys want to see more of me picking up logs and milling, please leave a comment down below. So my first milling video did not do super well. And obviously you guys are tuned in to this channel to watch farming content and milling is not farming content. So that was kind of to be expected, but I did want to run this by you guys. Do you think I should create a second channel for all my milling that I do? Or do you think I should just throw it in with my farm vlogs and just do a farm vlog every week and then also a milling video every week? Just thought I'd ask to see what you all are interested in. Like I said, I know you guys aren't all interested in milling, so just thought I'd see where we're at with that. But now I've talked about logs, let's get into the farm content. It's been a while since you all have seen the old farm dog. And he's put on some weight since you all have seen him last. He's not really a puppy anymore. <clears throat>
So guys, before we get the cows moved, um, we are about to get a huge rain tonight, and we really do need it. We've missed quite a few of the last big rain events that everyone else around us has got. And, uh, so looking at the radar, it looks like we're gonna get a lot of rain, probably too much, but either way, it's going to help all of our, all of our late fall growth and right before winter so we can get some fescue seeds stockpiled. So anyway, I'm just gonna do a little bit of an experiment today. Um, I've got some turnip seeds here. These are purple top. I've got some winter peas and I've got a little bag of crimson clover. So these are both little two pound things. This I think was seven pounds. And this pasture behind me, this is actually our pig pasture. If you guys remember having pit, me having pigs, I only ran the pigs mostly in those woods back there. But what I'm gonna do today, I've got my little seed spreader. I'm just gonna walk through this little five acre field and spread all these. I know it's not a ton of seed for five acres, but I just wanna do a little experiment, see if we can get some stuff broadcasted and see if it'll actually grow through the fescue and clover. So um, we just grazed this field about a week ago and uh, I bush hogged it two days ago now. So theoretically, things should be mowed down enough the seeds to hit the soil, and after this rain, I'm hoping we'll see quite a bit of this stuff come up. We'll dump in our turnips. And crimson clover here. I don't know if these peas will even come out at the same rate. But we're gonna mix them in. Yeah, I'm gonna try to mix all this around. on and we are ready to go. All right, we're about to move the cows, but we've got all these new baby cows running around, and I need to make sure they're all up and with their mothers before I move them so they don't get left behind. Hey guys, I don't even remember which calves you have seen now. We've had probably 15 more, or close to 20 more born since the last time I saw you guys. So I don't remember which ones you guys have seen, which ones you haven't. All right, you can tell the cows know what's about to happen. They've done this plenty of times. So all I'm gonna do is open the gate, let them go in, and uh, you can already see the fall pasture that has come on here it looks great and uh, we're gonna graze them in this nine acre field for one day so we'll move them tomorrow evening and uh, we're gonna let this regrow as quick as we can because we've only got about a month left of growing season for fescue so we're just gonna nip the top half off roughly and move them on to the next one <laughs>
piling through and spreading out. <clears throat> Of course you got all the babies that have not found the gate yet, but they will eventually find their way in. So forge wise, this is what we're looking at. Got a lot of clover down here. Obviously this is regrowth since our miniature drought there. And then we got a lot of fescue about two foot long. and. Uh, the cows. The cows will absolutely love this. Um, so fall growth for fescue is amazing because it's actually just growing more vegetation. It's not actually growing, it's not actually trying to reproduce and create seeds. So um, all you get here is grazable grass. And uh, like I said, we've still got about a month left of the growing season for fescue. So if we only take the top half of this stuff, it should be back to this size by the time we come back again in hopefully January. Anyway guys, a healthy group of calves and a nice stand of grass here for them. Cows are loving it. This cow is actually the first one to calve this fall, if you remember her. <clears throat> We've still got some babies. I don't want to go through the gate because I'll spook them away. But maybe if I come to the side here. Anyway, guys, fall is one of my favorite times of year because not only do we have a ton of calves being born, we also have a beautiful landscape. Cows love it. The weather is cooling off, so it feels good out here and. And, uh, got all these cute little guys running around. So anyway guys, I managed to get all the calves in now. So, everything is in. Cows are happy. Calves are happy. You guys missed it. They were all running here like crazy. And I uh, really enjoying themselves, so. Got a couple there fighting. Anyway, they're all having a great time. Um, I think this is going to be... This is about the last hot day of the year. It was 82 today, and I think the next week's forecast is in the 70s, so um, cows are gonna love the temps, grass is gonna love the temps. It's basically fall. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. Um, I'm actually gonna go home before dark and spray a bunch of wasps. So that'll actually be the next video I post at the end of this week, because it seems like the last one you guys enjoyed, so. Um, anyway, I got a couple thousand wasps to kill, and uh, with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.